Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and today we will be using a paintball gun. Now, the first thing that I- Jamal, get the- Okay, so Jamal is now live and we can proceed with the paintball gun explanation. The first thing that I like to say is that this is not my creation. I'm not going to plagiarize and say that this was totally my idea. This is most definitely the creation of somebody else. The only problem is I can't remember who. I remember a while back when I first started asking, I need variety, alright? I need guns to use that aren't the AEK and the M16. This is garbage. Nobody likes seeing those weapons used. It's it's silly. So that's that was the point where I was asking, what do you guys want to see in terms of weapon loadouts? And a lot of you said the paintball gun, but I can't remember who the first guy was that asked me to use this setup. But essentially, it's an M5K with an infrared scope, no extended mag, a suppressor, and a laser sight. So. The theory behind this is, I don't know how many of you guys are paintballers, probably a significant portion I would probably assume, but if you think of it all like this, if you look at the gun roughly right now, this is the rationale behind it being a paintball gun. Well, the first component is, it doesn't feel lethal, alright? I don't feel as if I can kill many things with this. To give you a perspective, I get 22 kills in this game, and 11 of them come from the primary that I'm using, which is obviously, obviously the paintball gun, but half of my kills come from the primary, which is not very often. It's usually between 75 and 100% come from your primary, but that guy just... They can't handle the dunks with this paintball gun, alright? And oftentimes, you will notice, I just chunk somebody hardcore, and it... I have to always go to my marshmallow gun every single time. Not that that's annoying, but I enjoy the challenge nonetheless. Now this guy, he comes around the corner. I don't know why he took that many bullets, but enjoy your marshmallows, bro! His friend comes in. He's not really aware of what I'm using as in a paintball gun. I get him, but look at this. Alright, so I get another guy, and I got another guy for the double kill, but... Bonk! He hits me right in the nose. That's silly, Goose. He didn't even take my scent. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, that was a swipe. That's not a stab. Okay, I'll concede that. But, back to the whole paintball issue, now that I'm a... Now that I'm in the lab and I can explain, I have time to explain because the lab's self-explanatory. Okay. So, if you look at the top of the gun, there's the infrared scope, right? And theoretically, that's supposed to represent the loader. I, I've heard some of my buddies call it hoppers. I guess the... My, like, try-hard... The equivalent of, like, a try-hard, a wannabe, real military, like, friends... Some of these friends that I paintball with sometimes. Be like, no, bro, it's not a loader, it's a hopper. And those are the guys with, like, the angel paintball guns that are, like hundreds upon hundreds of dollars that are just why don't you just go ahead and buy the real thing and go to a shooting range instead of paintballing but some really hardcore MLG pros like I go prone all the time my paintball games they call it a hopper but I'm pretty sure the official term is a loader but look if you look at the M5K once I get out of this lab it's essentially the infrared scope is supposed to represent the loader and then by putting a suppressor on the M5K that's supposed to represent sort of the extended barrel or like the the length of the longer length of a barrel of a, of a paintball gun and then the foregrip is also supposed to represent most obviously most paintball guns have foregrips but I, I believe that's the gas through or like the gas line that connects to the gas line but these several components are all supposed to make it look like a paintball gun and I think it's probably the closest thing that you can get in Battlefield 3. Now look I finally broke through, got an opportunity, armed the MCOM, broke the glass and look what instantly happens like I saw nobody was around here. I thought, I, this is so mine, all right? This is done like dinner. There is no issue that I, you catfish, dude. Everybody just comes down. Every, I feel as if everybody was just having some kind of like, I don't know what the deal was, like a cheese and crackers party. Remember, like a s'mores party on the bridge above me? And then they all jumped down. I don't know if I, I didn't quite show you the picture afterwards, but it was like four assaults. Three M16s, an AEK, and then three other support players tossing ammo like it was going out of style. Like, Macy's, we no longer need these Ralph Lauren polo t-shirts. Just get them out of here. It's, it's very, very goofy. But, now that we've moved beyond the paintball gun mechanics in terms of, oh look, this is why it represents a paintball gun, you can see how non-lethal it is. But look, even the AEK tryhards get dunked on. Yeah, that... How does that feel, man? I'm using a paintball gun, and I'm still destroying you without sounding arrogant. I know, any time that I start to talk about killing other people, it sounds really pompous and arrogant. And it's like, Badger, you're not even that skilled. Why even brag? But I think that's very true, and I don't feel skilled. This guy's dancing around like a marionette or Spongebob, and he enjoys his marshmallows. But yet again, you will notice, 
so much of this boils down to I can't kill you with my primary. I just don't have enough bullets because I'm not running extended mags. And okay, there's the double kill with the marshmallow gun. There's the triple kill. And I'm not, I ain't done yet, bruh. So the other tryhard, all right, he comes back around the corner, Mr. Assault MLG Pro Crouch Walker. And he gets dunked on with the marshmallow gun. And another Brivio gun. Give me your sandwich, dog. And that completes the. Is that a pentakill? I'm. I know any time that I say quadricular pentakill, you guys are like, go back to League of Legends. We don't want you here. That's quay, quay, quay. I can say whatever I want. But, yes, and I did make a, a little bit of a snide comment about that just because I felt in the mood. Because I think a lot of you agree with me that I don't, I don't always have the correct analogy. Like, it, it's not always easy to make one thing analogous to another in terms of Battlefield 3 and another situation or event, but I like to think of it as ice cream flavors. I guess that's sort of a, a common analogy, like something to make analogous to other things, but if there's so many flavors, why would you only try one all the time? Like if there's so many guns that DICE created in Battlefield 3, why are you only using the AK, or only using the M16, or only using the M416 with the Assault class? If you're only using like three guns and there's hundreds of flavors, that's just silly. Nobody wants to eat Neapolitan all the time, right? Strawberry is good, and chocolate's good, and vanilla is even more wonderful, despite the fact that strawberry is god tier, and vanilla is probably pleb tier in terms of my entire tier list, but they're all good nonetheless, and the double kill with the M5K. But only having those three all the time when you have a plethora of other flavors just sounds asinine to me. That sounds silly. Like, man, you got like 200 other flavors right in front of your mouth, and you're only using three. It just makes me sad. So this is why I like to instigate some sort of variety or implement some sort of variety. So another thing that I've listened to you guys about. Now that the paintball round is over, which I enjoyed nonetheless, but that paintball gun I can't say is very lethal. The sidearm is basically doing a lot of the heavy lifting, but because you guys all called me a Carl last week, or on Tuesday, rather, for Bad Company Tuesday, and you were like, hey, we want to see a longer video, I decided to show you a defending side as well on Zen Crossing. So, I decided to get out some more variety as in Not A Cell Rifles, and I, I especially feel like the LMGs are very, very underused. Now, there's a certain groups of weapons in Battlefield 3 that are really, really underused, like that cloth monster getting shot in the face probably emulates exactly what most people don't use, but I think those would be a lot of the semi-auto snipers, as in, there's the really popular one of the SKS, of course, but the MK11 and the SVD and I believe is the QBB 88, very, very unpopular in terms of the semi-auto snipers. But I still think the LMGs are up there in terms of not a whole lot of people use LMGs, at least in my perspective. A lot of people are using engineer weapons. Obviously the assault class reigns king because of the assault rifles easy mode every single time. But I think that the LMGs are not always good in terms of running around and running gunning, which most people are used to with the assault class. But if you're in a cityscape or some sort of urban environment and you have the ability to use something like this, like you have the ability to hold down a region where you know there's going to be so much traffic, especially in a 64 player server, the PKP and other LMGs are your best friends, especially with bipods. And you know it's just like triple kills and quadra kills, they come everywhere if you shelter yourself enough and you get the jump on the guy. As in, if you, st like right here, okay? If you start suppressing him ahead of time, you're not going to lose the gunfight because you're bipoded, you have not only overwhelming accuracy, you have no recoil, and the other guy's screen is already like, what the f what, why is my screen like turning into Windows 98 over here? I don't I don't get it, man. So yes, this is what you want to do right here. As long as you can get the jump on the guy and start firing, even if you're not gonna hit him with your first few shots, just start firing and getting the suppression into his eyeballs, like his cataracts or something. That's better than just trying to aim like directly at his nose and then before you start firing. So even if you're in the general proximity, suppressing him ahead of time before you end up eliminating him, and there's the triple or quad or whatever. I think that's the triple that was preceded by a double. I'm not even sure, but this is exactly what you want to be using the PKP for. That guy just stumbles by Mr. Carl, okay, and he, look at Carl trying to revive. Let me revive the guy that's directly in front of the guy that's basically on a mounted machine gun nest. Awesome. Let's do it, Carl. Okay, I, I totally agree with your reasoning. But I heard the footsteps, all right? I heard the footsteps, and I was like, you know what, man? If you go to that window, don't do it, young blood. Oh, he went to the window. Exactly. 
Sometimes you can just predict enemies like that, but oftentimes that what happens is, you know, you shoot the guy that runs in first, and then the second guy knows exactly where you are. He knows exactly what corner you're in. He runs in and just pops you in the face with a shotgun. That's usually not so fortunate, at least if you ask me. And there was, uh, I believe so, at least from what the previous two rounds taught us and basically everyone on my team saying, wait, 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 bro, bro. Bro Cookie, why is this guy only getting headshots? And why is he getting headshots with 320s consecutively? What? This is just silly. And Wesley, this is the guy that hacks anyways. Snipes! Okay, so that guy, I don't know. I think he actually has a misleading name like that. Like it's lowercase l, 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 or i. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I, th I think it's purposefully sort of misleading so he's harder to kick because... I don't know how to spell your name, so I can't kick you from the game. That happens oftentimes, especially with the servers that have the ability to just kick from chat or kick from, like, the console, like, is it called the console or whatever that console command is, whatever you use, but I, I think a lot of hackers tend to do that sort of thing, but it became pretty obvious the rounds before and after this. It didn't really disrupt us that much because you will probably notice that even in a 64 player server there's so many explosions going on there's so many bullets firing everywhere that oftentimes hackers can be their abilities can be mitigated when compared to a 32 player server but they're still annoying nonetheless but he still got dunked on he still lost the game and that was a 16 kill streak more or less i believe i died right at the end i don't know if i well this is okay that was my issue with the 16 kill streak i don't want to say 16 kill streak and then you guys are like eh, but badger you died and you got revived so it doesn't count well I don't know what you count, all right? I don't know what you count as a 16 kill streak, as in revives count, revives don't count. I'm not really sure. But I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a longer video. I know I still have not made the German video. That is. Warum bist du so böse auf mich? I will make it eventually, all right? Eventually. And I hope you enjoy the variety. Turns the paintball gun and. An LMG? No. I always feel like assault rifles are just compensators nowadays. Like, hey bro, you can't hit the broadside of a barn? You have no idea how to burst fire? Here's the M16! Oh, awesome! That's, I feel like assault rifles are compensators for being, like, lacking skill. Because I certainly think that LMGs and other weapons take certain planning and a certain skill within the game, or like a certain knowledge of the game, as in I can engage people here and I can move around the map in this manner and not die and be effective and running and gunning doesn't exactly work like I think running and gunning you can play in sort of a lackluster fashion and lack skill and still do well with an assault rifle I don't think the same is true especially with LMGs sure you can spray a little bit but I think overall assault rifles are just compensators okay so I want to thank you guys very much for watching I will see you guys next time Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und later